Sometimes it's an indefinable chemistry that's the difference between mediocrity and success. And Hannah Mills and Saskia Clark may just have found something special. Hannah and I are a new team formed in February 2011, which was three months out from the trials, and um, we had no idea if it was going to work. You know, it was make or break for both of our London 2012 Olympic dreams. For two people who didn't really know each other that well before they got thrown into a boat, it's pretty lucky, really, that we, we do have that bond and we do um, enjoy each other's company. We had to make it work. Um, we had to get on with each other. So that early few months really set a great tone for the partnership that we have. The World Championships in Barcelona this year, uh, race number one, we got disqualification, we won the race, but we were over the start line. It was totally, totally my fault. And uh, I felt awful, absolutely awful, but she was like, right, it's happened. I don't, I don't blame you. I would get to start tomorrow, let's, let's not worry about it. And for me, you know, if she hadn't done that, I would have still been fretting about it the next day and we, we wouldn't have won the world. So, you know, that for me is just everything. It was, I think, hugely significant for Hannah and I um, to finally win a gold medal at the Worlds. Uh, we've had, I think, four or five silvers over our partnership. And, uh, you know, we're beginning to get maybe slightly known as the bridesmaids. And it just gave us an absolutely huge, huge boost in confidence. and. It's the first event Saskia and I have won together. That's something we really, really wanted to achieve before the Olympics, um, just to prove to our competition and ourselves, I suppose, that we, we can win. Saskia Clark went to Beijing sailing with a different helm, and they finished sixth. But right now, Mills and Clark feel they're capable of reaching the highest heights. You know, the goal in Weymouth is, is obviously gold, and um, I don't know if I can put into words what that means. You know, it'd be, um, a big personal journey to have turned things around after the disappointment of Beijing. I mean everything for me, myself and my sailing, but um, you know, SAS has just been a huge, huge part of that this this past um, 18 months and, and taught me so, so much about myself, about the 470, about sailing, and I'd just be so happy for her to have you know, finally achieved her goal and just be amazing to be up on the podium with SAS and, and just an honour really.